All right. We are live with Pro Tips Live, Masters of Volume Photography. Uh, this is our second show. It's our first time on the YouTube channel, and we got away from the Facebook groups for this, but this is our second episode, and we have a few things to talk about today. Uh, the first topic we're going to discuss, I'm going to go through some of the jobs that we've just done recently with Godphoto, uh, some creative jobs. We've done some eighth grade cap and gown. We've done some high school sports, um, and, and we did an ice hockey shoot. Uh, it was a high school ice hockey shoot, but it enabled us to use multi poses for all of these athletes. And it really worked out well, although there wasn't that many players, but I thought it was a good buy through rate, a good average order and something I just want to discuss with everybody. on here. Um, so first of all, I wanted to start. I want to make sure that everything is working. It says we are live. Um, we are in YouTube. So I'm going to move on as much as I can. My wife's helped me out. Are you live? Yes, we are. Perfect. Um, if you guys can do me a favor, subscribe down below. I'm going to put it right below here. Give us a thumbs up. Make sure you're interested and you're happy. And if there's anything you want us to discuss in the future, feel free to comment below. And we're happy to do it. Um, also, for the second part of the show, I have Carl Bott joining me of CB Sports Photography. Um, I met Carl down at Imaging, and we've spoken to each other many times before that as well. So I was happy to meet him in person. And I'm going to bring him on in just a few minutes, and we'll go over a few more things that he does with God Photo few interesting things that you might be interested in hearing about or learning. Um, so I'm going to get right into it, guys. We're going to move on to Got Photo Live Statistics. All right. I'm going to share my screen here. So hang with me. Uh, I want to make sure you can see it. Um, it should be large here. I'm going to move right into it. Make sure you can hear me. Um, I'm going into my God Photo count. The first job I want to share with you guys is an eighth grade cap and gown session that we did. We did this early January. So what happens is this is from the middle school. There's eighth graders. Uh, our, typic, our typical way that we used to do this is we would provide prepay order forms for the parents. Uh, they would select the package that they want. We would take a couple images, pick the best, and then, of course, give them that. Uh, there's always been discrepancies with yearbook poses. Parents wanted to choose the yearbook pose. We always just went ahead and did it. Or if there was an instance where we allowed them to do it, we would have to come up with a strategic way to allow them to select their yearbook pose. And then, of course, that's the image that we crop, retouch, and send back to the school. But now we've moved on to God Photo. And the way that we set this job up is um, we delivered contact sheets back to the school. Okay, so we didn't get emails of the parent of the parents. We didn't get cell phones of the parents. We did get names. We did get ID numbers. We did get homerooms and all that stuff. Um, and then what we did was we went ahead and I'm just bringing into an album here, if you can see, and I'll scroll down below and you can see, obviously we're shooting a QR card. This QR card did not go home with the student. This was specifically for tagging the data to uh, the images. And you can see, we do a few different images. We don't go crazy here. The school does not want us to do cap on the head. They want the cap off, but we'd always do a few different looks. It looks like everyone got between five and 10 images based on how well they were in front of a camera, different head tilts. Anyway, uh, and then we uh, probably about three or four days after the job, we um, provided them with proof sheets. So the parent received a proof card with two images. And then at the bottom, it says, you have way more images online. Please log in with this private access code. And that's how they went and they saw it. Um, so bringing into the statistics page, this job right now is at $3,862 in sales. Um, it, this is kind of a, a different um, district that we work with. So I'm I'm happy to see these numbers and I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. Uh, so without emails, we're at an 84% login rate, which I think is great, which means that 84% of the parents pulled out their card and logged in with their access code, with their email and their cell phones. Um, we do have a 50% order rate. Again, I think that's pretty good. By the time this job clears and the gallery closes, we'll probably be upwards of 65 to 70%. Our average order is $36. And keep in mind, we have a $15 package here. So pack, package purchase is mandatory on this job. So at $15, upwards of 45, that's a pretty good average order. And again, if we had every single student buy something, they would pay $20.88, which brings us to our total. Over here, the service fee and the production costs are out. So I see $3,400 and change. And my man hours have drastically gone down because we all we did was basically uh, run a batch retouch on these images and and posted them live to the parents right so if we go back in uh, let me just check back here make sure we're good to go 
If we go back into my photo jobs, I'm going to take you into a high school sport job that we've done. And again, we, we really used, um, we used Got Photo for this because, lost here, where are we at? PC, winter sports, there we go. So this is our winter sports that we've done. It's basketball, it's wrestling, um, and it was winter track. We didn't really do individuals for winter track. It just really doesn't work out that way. Uh, so wrestling and basketball is basically all that we've done. We couldn't collect information ahead of time. So what we did was we brought out two tablets. And as the players came up, all we did was we printed out blank QR cards. Uh, we gave the player a QR card, registered them right then and there. We asked for their parents' email and the parents' cell phone. And then we gave the, the player the card. And then, of course, we went in and we took multiple images. I'll go into one gallery here. You can see that what I've done is I've selected the best uh, picture that I thought would be for the team, uploaded to the group. So now any one of these varsity individual players will see this team show up in their package. And that's what Richmond prints and includes in their package when they place the order. It enables us to do our own posing. And then, uh, of course, you can do smiling, no smiling. Sometimes we let the kids do whatever they want. This it chose this, wasn't thrilled with it. This player chose this, pretty cool. Um, and again, it gives the parents multiple options to purchase different items and packages, which is always great. And moving over to our statistics page, whoops, that's not the right one. Sorry, bear with me here. Statistics page. We had 79 athletes that we photographed. Out of the 79, we had 75 log in, that's 95%. So just by collecting them on site, which literally took like, eight to 10 seconds, you can have someone extra on the side doing that, uh, or you can even have the players do it. We had the players doing it and make sure you just log out every time, it worked great. Um, and we have a 43% buy rate, which is low, but believe you me, winter sports is typically low to begin with and probably on our pre-pay order form, that's what we're seeing anyways, maybe slightly higher, but we definitely weren't seeing $57 average orders. We were seeing more along the lines of 35 or 36. Um, I got a bunch of people coming to me saying, are you going live or are you going live? Hold on one sec. I'm a little worried that we haven't been going live this whole time, although it's letting me go live into this episode two. I see it. Sorry, guys, bear with me here. First time going on YouTube, so I apologize. Everything's always been in Facebook, so this is new to me as it is new to you. Um, we may just have to post this at a later date instead of going live because we're already delved into it this much. Uh, anyway, so we're at $1,775. Um, after, of course, production costs and Richmond costs and shipping, we're down to 1405, although parents pay shipping. Keep that in mind, you do not pay that, unless, of course, you run a special where you want free shipping in the first two or three days, um, then you will eat the cost of the shipping, but it is a great incentive to get the parent to order. But anyway, this job probably took me four hours at the most. We were on the shoot for an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, and then again, I selected the best team, dropped type on it, imported it, and then imported all the individuals. I barely touched them as far as we can. So that's a great turnout, if you ask me, um, as far as an hourly wage for what we've done, right? And then uh, moving on into another job, um, I'm going to move you guys down to hockey because I had a lot of fun with this. This was one of our first times doing hockey. Um, it allowed me to, again, sign the kids up at the shoot and gave me the creative freedom to shoot with multiple poses here. Okay, so we have some zoomed in, some zoomed out vertically. We have full length cropped horizontally, smiling, not smiling. And again, zoomed in horizontally, zoomed in vertically. It allows the parents to purchase multiple items again. So this was a very small job. I think there was only, God, I want to say 18. There was only 16 players and we had 14 login. So that's okay, 88% and 63% of the people bought. But we had a $61 average order. So that's pretty high for hockey. 615. Again, this job took me an hour and a half, and I spent about an hour importing the job at the most. So again, that's pretty good turnout for the money, and we're good to go. All right, so we're going to move on. I'm going to hide this and bring it in here. And again, I got people telling me they don't see anything. Sorry, guys, bear with me. This is this is new to me. I want to make sure this works for everyone. 
I got Carl waiting down below, ready to go. Okay, my wife says we're good to go, and I see it on YouTube. So I'm going to keep moving on here. Um, so our first guest on the show, his name is Carl Bott of CBS, CB Sports Photography. He's out of Nashville. I just wanted to give you a brief bio on him. Again, I mentioned I met him in person down at Imaging USA in Nashville. He is an outstanding individual. Uh, he's funny. He's happy. Uh, he's tall. He's handsome. Uh, anyway, just to get started on it, uh, he started in Michigan. He worked for a sports recovery company. Um, he worked there for a couple of years, and then he came down to Tennessee. I believe it was 2015. He'll correct you if I'm wrong. And he worked for a door-to-door -door sales company, which is probably how he got such good into sales because I spoke to him personally. Um, he got his degree in sales. There you go. And he started CB Sports Photography while selling life insurance in October 2017. It basically started as a part-time gig until, obviously, it clearly took off, and that's what gave him the bug. So I'm going to bring in Carl now. And Carl, make sure you unmute yourself uh, if you can. Um, you should show up any second here. There you are, buddy. Hey, how's it going, Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. Um, so I, I'm kind of going to get right into it. I gave you a brief bio. I gave everyone a brief bio of yourself. Um, really, what I want to know and what other people are going to want to know is, do you have a specific sales pitch? Because I know that you've grown your company so much in the last just few years to maybe a couple hundred athletes to upwards of 50,000 athletes which is mm -hmm. you gave to me, which is mind blowing. And I myself want to know, but if there's something you can elaborate on, maybe a sales pitch or a specific approach, you know, whether it be just literally calling all these people, sending them emails, whatever it is, I'd like to hear it. Yeah, no, absolutely. So typically, um, I, I mean, I've, I've got kind of my elevator pitch that I use, but I'm just very forward with, all of my sales. When I call a league, uh, a lot of it is just cold calls. You know, I'll be driving around and you see a sign for baseball signups and I mean, their phone number's right underneath it. And I just, I call them up and Hey, this is Carl with CB sports photography. I was just wondering, are you currently working with a photographer? You know, Perfect. if they say, yes, I am. I say, great. When's a good time for us to meet up? Because I got to <laughs> show you what I got going on and how I'm helping leagues here in Nashville. If they say no, I say, great. When can we meet up? And it's the right, same right. thing. You know, I just, I'm very forward, uh, you know. I, uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, everybody says fortunes in the follow-up. And it's it's so true. You know, a lot of a lot of new guys in sales, they, they struggle with being told no. And once they're told no, they give up, you know. But a lot of these leagues just want to know that you're going to fight for that. Um so you know, true. so okay, great. So, how about like, um, I don't know, marketing material? You know what I mean? Like, is there, is there anything you send them right away, or do you do you want to get yourself face to face with the board, and that's when you, you know, is that when you bring everything, show them samples, um, products, whatever else you got? Is that where it happens? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, I try to get face to face because it's a lot harder to kick me out of the door than it is to uh, hang up on me. So. Uh, once I get face to face with them, um, a lot of my bigger leagues or if they've got a board or somebody that I'm meeting with, typically what I'll do is I, I've got kind of uh, like a welcome packet that I use. You know, it's got a nice little trifold in it. It's got a pricing sheet. It's got, you know, some samples. But one thing I kind of started doing just to kind of play a little psychology, some mind games is I will actually take my superstar package, which is my largest package. Okay. Uh, I will take it, hand a piece of that, you know, whether it's a five by seven to one board member an eight by 10 to another, you know, it, it, it's a plaque package. So it comes with a plaque. So I'll usually take the plaque, give it to the president. Um, I'll take the magnets. I'll give it to the secretary, you know, whoever it is. And then I'm just like, hey, if you guys want to kind of rotate these through, you can kind of, it gives you a good idea of what we offer, the quality, of sure. the actual photography, quality of the product. Oh, and by the way, that's our superstar package that we charge such and such amount for. Um, and that's the biggest package we offer. So as you see, you get a little bit of everything and, you know, grandma could have this and great, but now they're touching it, feeling it, smelling it, knowing exactly what their parents are going to receive. Um, and they've really kind of 
you know, they start to perk up when they actually see a package in front of them versus, you know, here's two five by sevens. This is what we do. So, right. No, that's great. You and I, I think that's where you're, where we are a little bit different because, you know, I, I hate cold calling. You know what I mean? Like all of our leagues have usually come about from another sport within that town or it's come from someone on that league recommending us to another person. So before I even make my presentation in front of the board, which actually I like doing, I don't mind doing, but there's always like, there's always someone who has brought us to that point. Right. Mm -hmm. So where you are, you know, persistent about your phone calls or whatever it may be. Unfortunately, that's where I lack, which I would like to see myself get a little better with. Um, but that it's just great to hear people are actually still doing that type of sales. I think that's huge. And I think that's a big deal. So yep. kudos yeah. to you on that, Carl. That's great. Appreciate it. Um, Appreciate it. Awesome. I'm going to move. I'm, again, I'm just going to get right into this. I don't want to make this a long show. Yep. Um, so when I say what's your typical shoot look like, I think people and myself want to know, you know, if you have a league of like 500 athletes, how many stations do you have set up? Are you shooting green screen, outdoors, printed backdrops? You know, how many photographers at a station, posers, salespeople at tables? Are you shooting? Are you at every shoot? Give me, Give me the good stuff. Yeah, so uh, we keep it extremely simple. So 500 kids, uh, we usually line up. Uh, and again, obviously, you know, it depends on the times and, and so on and so forth. I mean, 500 kids in one hour is a lot different than 500 kids among eight hours. But, you know, yeah. if it's a typical long, long day shoot, 500 kids, uh, we usually strategize one photographer for every 300 kids. We, we feel pretty confident with that um so we shoot everything green screen uh so when the parents walk up we've got a registration table set up uh kind of the same concept we'll have one registration person for every two cameras and again if it's a new league i'll put an extra registration person there because i want it to go extremely smooth so it just again it depends on the situation too but so the parents walk up uh, we use Got Photo for uh, all of our processing. So we've got our QR codes laid out. They're separated by coach and by time for our registration people so they can quickly find that QR code. Sure. Uh, the kid's name is printed on it as well as the coach's name. So they come up, we ask the child what their coach's name is, and then we find their QR code. One thing that I train my registration people to do is hand the QR code to the child. I do this specifically for a couple of reasons. One, because if we hand it to mom, it goes right into her purse or dad's pocket or it gets crumbled up. And then, you know, you struggle reading it because it's all just jumbled. So first point is the kids don't have pockets typically when they're playing sports. Um, so it's usually nice and crisp. Uh, right. the second piece is you give a five-year-old or a seven-year-old a piece of paper, they are so extremely thrilled because they got something, got something yeah. <laughs> that just builds on that experience. So it's something small, but you know, I, I think it does make a difference. So then the kids go uh, jump in line for a photographer. Does not matter which line they go into because, again, we're going to composite all of these anyways. Yep. Um, we have a pick-a-pose poster. Um, okay, you do. Okay. Yep. We use a, a retractable six foot banner. You know, it's got six different poses on there. All of our photographers are trained on, you know, which numbers, which pose. Yep. Uh, and then we take three photos. So we take a picture of the QR code. We take an individual photo and then we take a picture of the kids with their arms behind their back. And then that's what we use for that team photo. Uh, we purposely make the team photos boring. So that way we can sell our cool, exciting panoramics. Um, so it's just kind of a, a nice little sales piece. Um, you know, cause parents ask us all the time. They're like, that's kind of boring. It's like, well, uh, we do that. Up so up so whenever yeah, you can, exactly. whatever you can. So, yeah. And then, uh, I mean, that's, that's pretty much the, you know, the basis of the shoot. Okay. Um, so you can, I'm just gonna step back real quick as far as yeah. staff. The pick a pose poster, I guess, is unique where the photographer can explain to the athlete to fall into that pose, right? And then they yeah. can maybe adjust it from their camera as opposed to, you know, pulling each student over there or, or each student athlete, each athlete over to the posing area. Yep. And now as far as shooting the QR cards, are people holding or is the athlete holding if they're old enough? 
No. So what we do is uh, the athlete will hand it to the photographer. Photographer holds it in front of the camera. Um, so we use 50 millimeters. So it's, it's, I mean, gotcha. they're really close. Uh, yep. yeah. So, um, yeah, the, I mean, photographers holding that. And then now once they've taken a picture of the QR code, we do hand it back to the parents. Um, there's really no need for us to give it yeah. to the parents because we right. do collect, uh, names and emails and stuff for marketing after, but we give it back to them just because they're so used to taking something home because right. everyone else is doing prepay. So gotcha. we don't want them to feel like they're getting robbed of that, which again, it's a piece of paper. It, you know, it's just going to get thrown away. Anyway, it, so. You know, it's something tangible. And I think, yeah. you know, just for the viewers that the QR card is basically like Carl said, it has the athlete's name, the coach's name, but also has Carl's website and it also has the player's access code, which the parent is going to use to log in. So yep. it is almost like an order form. In fact, or like I said, it's tangible. The parent can go home with it. They can pay, take a picture of it on their cell phone in case they lose it. Um, they can even scan the QR code and it brings them right to their gallery. Um, so it's really, although you said you have emails and you may even have cell phones. Which would be fantastic. So obviously once the pictures are posted, Carl's sending an email and they text right to the parents. Uh, phone and email. So that's great. But giving out the QR card, I think is just one extra step to take to try and saturate the parents as much as you can. Yeah. Well, one thing I've noticed too is they will give that the piece of paper because they got the email link. So they'll give the piece of paper to grandma or grandpa or right. aunts, uncles, friends, you know. Yeah. Um, or creepy so, Uncle Carl. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, I'm there now. So good deal. All right, let's move on. That's great. That's perfect information. Um, another question that I had. So when I say, do you use God Photo for multiple posing, which a lot of people do, like myself for preschools or for elementary schools or high school seniors, you want to take multiple images, give the parents the opportunity to spend more money, right? Or there is the ease of presenting these private galleries to the parents, which is basically something we just touched on. You know, if you get the information ahead of time, you import it into your job. It's going to automate an email communication through over a week, two weeks, whatever you want it, and it presents the gallery. So what what do you think yours is for? Yeah, so uh, a little bit of both. More, honestly, is the viewing you know piece of it. So the parents can see the photos before you know they purchase. They, they really, really enjoy that. You know, uh, sales have gone up because of it. You know, it's, uh, it's I mean, that's that's probably the bigger piece. Um, okay. Currently, we are only taking one pose of the kids. And, and again, a lot of it's for speed. Um, we're, we're working on, uh, you know, a couple different just poses that we choose. And then they get to choose one from the pick a pose. So that's that's kind of our next step. So that way we can take advantage of multiple posing because we have noticed that the more poses they have to choose from, the more or the, the higher the average sale. So obviously we need to be taking advantage of that. So, um, but when you're photographing, you know, 1500 kids in a, you know, four to six hour span, you know, we, we train our photographers uh, to photograph each child in 30 seconds or less. And after one or two events, they're typically running each kid through in about 15 to 20 seconds. So to add in three, four different poses is, is really going to slow that time down. So we, we need to make sure that, you know, we're being considerate of that. Perfect. And then what about, do you use the coupon ability? You know, do you use your coupons for parents? Um, just give me your thoughts on the shopping cart itself, because I use Got Photo as well. And I've compared that shopping cart to many others. And I just think it, it just stands out alone in itself. Um, but do you use coupons? Yeah, yeah, we do. So we offer uh, free shipping for the first two days. And that's another thing that we tell all of our registration people is, hey, we're going to send you an email and we're going to shoot you a text message when the photos are online. Make sure you take advantage of the first two day free shipping. And, you know, it's, it's just kind of that sense of urgency because uh, really, you know, in my mind, photography nowadays is an impulse sale. You know, it's it's a candy bar at the end of the checkout. So once you leave the store, you're not going back in to buy the candy bar, you know. Right. So we've sure. got to give some sort of incentive um, for them to log in and, and, you know, get back on on the, yeah. on the photo, you know. 
So the, the free shipping has, has definitely helped with that. So. All right. Perfect. Um, and then, all right, I'm going to ask you some questions. You don't have to get into specific details. I know every photographer likes to keep a lot of things close to their chest. I respect it. But when I say workflow from start to finish, I guess I just mean, you know, the shoot's done, right? You've already pre-printed your QR cards. You've handed them out. You've taken the pictures. You've done your team photos. You know, at point of import or what gets done before import until selling, you know, in brief, what kind of takes place? Yeah, so we download the camera cards. Uh, we shoot in JPEG. Um, okay. Used to shoot in RAW, and then uh, I realized when you know you have a, a big shoot like thirty five hundred kids, uh, <laughs> RAW doesn't work uh, <laughs> without very very big camera cards. So yeah, we shoot in JPEG. Um, we do color correct on our own. Um, obviously, we try to get everything right in camera, but, um, right. you know, it's, it's nice having the knowledge of being able to color correct if something were to go wrong. But, yeah. uh, so then we've got all of our pictures are color corrected looking great. So then we do all of our green screen, uh, removal. We do that ourselves. So we use PicSnub easy green screen. Mm -hmm. Um, Damon's amazing. Uh, his product is amazing. Uh, it's affordable. I mean, it saved us a ton of money. Um, and like I said, it does a great job. So uh, we run it through easy green screen. It's all automated. I don't have to sit there and click each one. So I go watch Game of Thrones with my wife while my computer's working. Uh, and yeah, that was that was a nice binge session. Uh, <laughs> so uh, once they're done with uh, easy green screen, we run them through another, another automated process to crop all the individual photos. Again, okay. go finish up my Game of Thrones. Right, uh, right. And then so we from there, we have to build our team photos. So we separate all of them into their folders. Uh, we build the team photos and then we upload to Got Photo uh, from there. I mean, my, my wife has called it, uh, the make money button and we just, uh, we push start selling and then about yeah. 10 minutes later, you start getting emails, new order, new order, new order. So it's, right. uh, and from there, um, got photo sends it to Richmond, Richmond sends it to the parents and we can check. Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah. So that sounds amazing. It sounds like the work is kind of getting done ahead of time. Right yeah. on every child that you photograph, you photograph every child, I assume. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then you're you're dropping out the backgrounds, you're importing the PNGs because you know you use uh, PicSnub, which is great. A ton of people use it, but God Photo also has um, a method where you can have them drop out the images, and yep. of course, it's basically the same thing. Absolutely. Um, yes. You preload backgrounds so the parents can choose if it's a football shoot, you may have four different football backgrounds or whatever you may want to import. They can choose to drop in front. They see the preview of it as well. And then, of course, when they place their image, it's connected to their team photo. So Richmond is basically printing and shipping the full package right to that parent. Correct? Yep. Yep. Perfect. Amazing. And then you sit back and just see the orders come through, which we all do. Yeah. Um, all right. <clears throat> this is great information. Um, I, I'm kind of wrapping this up, but I really I, I would like to ask this for all photographers that I speak to, because I always ask this of myself on a daily basis, basically. But you know, what sets you apart from your competition? You know, what are you telling the board that they're going to get that they are not currently getting right now or they will probably not get from another company? Because obviously you using God Photo is pretty unique at this time. Um, so what what what's your answer to that, Carl? Yeah. So, um, I mean, I, I really go into our process. You know, I mean, God Photo has been huge for that, you know, and, and proofing a, a lot of, you know, my competition is still doing um you know pre-orders and coaches have to pass out the order forms the leagues have to pass out the photos you know so uh kind of backtracking to you know my sales process is i, I really really dig for those pain points i want to know you know why and i tell everybody i was a coach for 11 years i hated photo day you know hated it i was a photographer and a coach and i still hated photo day you know so um i ask them you know, what, what is it about photo day that you hate? Cause I know you hate it. I know right. you like it. Everybody hates it. So, what is it? Yep. And so, you know, I try to just fix those issues. I mean, it's, it's just like putting out any kind of product, you know, if, if you can fix the problems, 
you're going to win the business. So um, that's that's really what I do. I mean, I, I kind of customize it per league because, you know, I want to know what they're struggling with and that's what I want to really hammer on and fix. So, yeah, that's perfect. Um, you know, I, we, we had a brief discussion on imaging and when you mentioned pain points, it probably comes from your sales background, but I guess it's always the, maybe the first thing you could possibly do to a board is just approach them and say, what don't you like about photo day? Because what I'm going to give you is going to be completely opposite of that, right? You got to pull that from them just so they can understand and think to themselves, this guy knows who he's talking about. This is what we want to happen. This is how we want photo day to go. You yep. know, whether it be like the photographer is now taking over, we will take all the orders. They'll get directly shipped. You will not be involved in the distribution or anything along those lines. Parents can order online. There's no more forms to hand out at a time. Whatever it may be, you take care of that right away. And I think that's kind of a plus and it puts you in the, the positive bracket immediately with that board. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, good stuff. So now, Carl, I just noticed we had a few questions come in. Maybe you can take five or 10 minutes. Um, Danielle Woods asked, and I asked you this before too. I think I know the answer, but I'd rather hear it from you. Um, do you do memory mates? <laughs> yeah, <would come. laughs> yeah, I was I was waiting for that one. Um, yeah. So we do offer memory mates. Um, as many of you know that have looked in the got photo, they don't currently have the functionality for memory mates. Um, and but you can set any product up to a self fulfill. So what I did was I took the memory mates out of my packages and created it as an add on item. So my memory mates I was charging twenty dollars for. I have my got photo set up to a twenty dollar minimum. So the problem started that somebody would order just the memory mate and then obviously we know how shipping and you know the cost of the product and minimum orders and things like that so your margin becomes really small and it's really kind of a custom item at that point so what i did was i actually lowered the price of my memory mate okay. to 15 dollars, uh -huh. so that way it didn't hit the minimum order and my unit price is ten dollars so the minimum they can spend to get a memory mate would be 25 but psychology wise it's different than raising my memory mate to 25 you know where they feel like now i'm gouging them so it's it, it's a fine line but yes we do do memory mates um we you know we build them ourselves until um, you know, got photo does get that functionality, then, uh, you know, obviously we'll just right. run it directly through them. All right. So, I mean, if I can touch on that too, is with our use sport photography, um, you know, we have prepaid flyers that we use fillable PDFs, but we have a memory mate in almost every package. And we have really done that based on over the years, trying to get leagues. It seems like all the competition does have that. We probably have two out of our six packages that don't have a memory mate. So now the first thing I thought about, if I were to go to online selling for U Sport Photography is I would probably do exactly what you just said. I would pull the memory mate out of the package, keep my packages as simple as possible, and then ask, and then provide them as add-ons, like you said. And the minimum order of $20 is genius, or you can even make it a package purchase mandatory. But I guess I just, maybe I'm making it clear enough, but when you dropped it to $15, and when people added that on to what they're they're already getting it almost like it made it worth your time yes through the process of creating that memory mate on a third party software or whatever it be flattening it and then just replacing it before you send the order to richmond right mm -hmm. okay cool i just wanted to follow that um all right thanks for that carl and then kathy cassins um how does the building of the composite team photo fit into the sales process do you wait until that is created before selling Yes. So with Got Photo, um, when you open up your your gallery, so for each team, it has a group photo and then it has the individual photos. So we create that prior to uploading to Got Photo. Um, so then once you know, yeah, we we create them before we upload. Um, but it's really simple. I mean, you just you click on group photo, you you find your team. You pop it in, you know, pop in your individuals. And I mean, it's, it's pretty set after that. Right. 
Okay. And then you're offering, are you offering separate panos or are you offering one team photo for each team that just comes in their package? Yeah. So the, there's a team photo in every package, um, except for our smallest package, because we did have some parents that, you know, they, they're like, look, we just didn't have a good time with the team. We just want pictures of our kid. Can you swap yeah. that out? So we just, all we did was we duplicated that package. Um, you can lock a photo to be a group photo or an individual photo. So what we did was we just locked them all to individuals. We call it our individual pro package. And then we've got our team pro package. Um, so if they want a team photo included, they buy the team one. If they want the individual one, they buy the individual one. So we just, we made it super simple for the parents um, to be able to order those. Okay. And just out of my curiosity, are you offering a team photo only option? We do not. Okay. Um, yeah, no, we, we don't. Uh, it, it is an add on item. So right. they can, you know, they can buy an eight by 10 uh, for the $10. Um, but yeah, outside of that, no, they, it's, it's not, I don't have a package set up for right. that. So, and, and even with the, with the $20 minimum, um, if they wanted the team photo, then they would still have to add something on to hit the, the $20 mark. So sure. and I'll be honest, I, I think that's hit our sales a little bit just because there are some parents that just want the team photo. Um, right. You know, but again, it, to, to mail those out drop ship, you know, home, our minimum cost is seven forty five through Richmond. So, I mean, at a $10 photo, it, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, for sure. Makes sense. All right. Danielle's got another question. I think I know what she's asking. She says, does your green screen composite that you upload to that photo have a design that handles all the crop sizes? Um, you know, five by seven, eight by 10 while it's four by six, you know, so when the parent orders it and crops it, it obviously works for all three different crop sizes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we, we bring them or we, we crop them as an eight by 10. Um, cause we, we found that it, it fits better in that. Uh, we try to go through and, you know, cause there's, there's some, it, it really comes down to the posing, I think, um, where if you've got the kid that his arms are out super wide, you know, yeah. you have, he's holding the wide elbows, you know, his elbows are going to get cut off or, um, you know, there's, there is, there's, there's slight issue there, but it's, you know, we automate everything. So, um, the cropping everything we use face recognition to, you know, help with that. So it keeps everybody where they should be. Um, some stuff I, I have to go back and, and recrop. Like if the kids act, you know, for basketball, if he's acting like he's shooting the ball and the ball's way above his head, right. It, you know, it's going to cut off all the ball. So I've got to go through and, and recrop that. Um, but yeah, I mean, usually we, we don't have any issues. One thing I love about got photo with that though, is it actually tells the parents before they check out to make sure you check your crop and it shows them the crop exactly mm -hmm. how it's going to print. So it takes all that liability off me. So when a parent calls and says, Hey, my daughter's arm is completely cut off. I'm like, eh, you know, yeah. Typically, I, I still replace the photo just because. I mean, why why use why lose a league over fifty cents? Yeah. Um, but I I don't have those issues typically because you know now I, I I will say I've had some phone calls from parents that are they're just not tech savvy and they're like, hey, I don't know how to change the crop. Can you help me with that? So again, it, it's still a learning process for a lot of these parents. You know. Um, it's kind of one of those, you know, assume none and teach all, uh, right. Of course. Situations. So, but hopefully that answers that. Yeah, no, I mean, that's usually everyone's question, especially, you know, not just got photo platform, but any other online platforms is, you know, you want the parent to crop this because you don't want to have to go in and crop it on your own. Right. Yep. You want that order finalized and sent to the lab and out the door and in their hands. And well, honestly, if you're doing like, 500 athletes and you have three or four parents call that have an issue with the cropping the percentage on that is so low yeah, that it's yeah. almost not enough to even consider you know altering it so you have to crop them all right yeah so with uh with one of our our big leagues uh they've got about twenty thousand kids in in their program so we did we did probably eight or nine thousand because we kind of caught them mid-season last year 
uh, we had less than a 1%, uh, uh, I'll call it a complain rate, right. I guess. And that's probably all the, you know, all the Karens uh that are gonna <laughs> can i say that <laughs> yeah uh, i think that's the first time i heard it people are gonna complain anyways so it's like you're, you're not gonna win everybody over um one thing i will say we do for our team photos is um we only upload an eight by ten mm -hmm. but we set our uh actual team photo like we we compress it to a five by seven so if they get the eight by 10, they're just going to have a little wider edges, you know, right. but that way we only have to upload one. Cause what I don't want parents doing is choosing the five by seven team photo, printing it on an eight by 10 or vice versa. And then things get cut off. So yeah. we just, we make sure that no matter what that, you know, is printed as it's going to fit. So, yeah, no, that makes total sense. All right, Carl, I think that is it for the questions. And I think that's it for my questions. This is extremely informative and I'm glad you came on the show. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, you'll probably have some people messaging you outside of this. Feel free yeah. to help them out. Um, and yeah, I think that's it, pal. I appreciate it again. Cool. No, I appreciate you. I think this is great. I think this is going to help a lot of, a lot of people. So um, yeah. just your channel, not, you know, I think it's, it's, it's awesome. All right. I appreciate that. All right, my friend, we'll be in touch. All right. Thanks, Tim. All right, Carl. See ya. All right, everyone. There you have it. That was Carl Bott, CB Sports Photography. He uses Godphoto for all his youth sport photography. You heard his workarounds and his solutions, and it works for him. Um, I'm not quite there yet. I know Godphoto's got some things coming out in the future as far as templates or what have you, but right now he seems to be um, nailing everything on the head as he should be. All right. So actually, that's it for our show today. I uh, kept it under an hour, which I think I want to try and do moving forward. Please give a thumbs up, subscribe below. Uh, I think we had some live issues earlier. Maybe if you do not subscribe, you do not see it live. I'm not positive, but do whatever you got to do because I'm going to hopefully be giving you content on a weekly basis. Uh, we have a show set up next week and the week after that and the week after that as well. And I'll be promoting um, details on those shows so you can get ready for it. And please shoot me an email at protipslivemvp at gmail.com. Uh, if you have anything you want to discuss or come on the show, we can keep it to a half hour, 20 minutes, whatever you think you want to talk about. Um, doesn't even have to be with God Photo. It could be with anything else, right? And that's the whole goal here is to help each other thrive, provide information and ideas. And I think we can do that in this type of environment. All right. So I'm going to end my broadcast now. Again, thank you all so much for tuning, tuning in. You've been great. And I love you all madly. And hopefully I'll hear from you soon. Take care, guys. Have a great day. See ya.